All right, it's Duke here at Duke's RV, and today we're going to take a look at this uh, Keystone Outback Ultralight, the 291 UBH, used for ultralight, BH is for bunkhouse, and this is a nice RV. You can see that big, huge solar panel up on the roof. You can see it's got a couple of AC units up there. It's got the Weingard Air 360 for digital TV and Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inside. It's got a couple of 30-pound propane tanks. Right now, there is no battery in this one right now. I'm just showing you that because the lights are flickering. A little wind noise out here. Don't worry, I'm getting inside. So this one does have a power tongue jack, and it does have power stabilizers so there's no hand cranking we're getting out of the wind we've got a stable we've got a uh, solid platform on the stairwell that makes contact with the ground stereo speakers going inside gotta get out of this uh, wind noise here check it out beautiful look at those accent lights there that's nice so the lights are flickering that's because we're running just on solar with no battery. All right, they're back. We're safe here. Check out these theater seats. That's some luxury right there. I don't got to learn how to operate this camera right here. Here we go. Back at the uh, correct dimensions there. Direct Right across from your TV, you've got a nice fridge right here that is... Uh, it's even on right now, so it's drawing some power. But if you had a battery in here, it would be no problem at all. So here's your... You know, that's a kitchen and a microwave. I don't need to tell you all that. But it's got a uh, wine rack right there. You can put your wine bottles up there. And look what else it has. Extra counter space on demand. If you demand it, it will. it is available. You are in charge. You've got your stainless steel sink and a residential fixture. Hey, check that out right there. That's the controls for your tankless water heater hot water on demand so if you're very demanding you demand more counter space you demand hot water when you want it it's there I've got windows i got the blinds down right now because i guess i was lazy my production crew which is duke should have opened those up but look at that beautiful dinette and then you've got some lights over here that i guess dang production crew got to get the get them to work harder all right, here we go. Check it out how well lit that is. Good job. I forgive you. Once again, I forgive myself. I have to be very forgiving with myself. All right, so there is a uh, residential filter in that AC right there. That's a nice feature. And so it's got this uh, farmhouse style door. So this is a full width bath. But let's take a peek back this way before we go into the bathroom. I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at that radius roof. That's a barreled ceiling. Gives you lots of openness. Headroom, these windows were open. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. See, if, now I'm gonna leave them down because it'll be too much glare. So, uh, never mind. Changed my mind. I gave my per self permission to change my mind. So look, you've got double over double bunks. Each one of them has a puck light. It's got a USB. You hook up your phone. You got your own window. There's a 110 plug there. There's my fingers in the shot. Great job, Duke. No problem. Thank you very much. Hey, look at those drawers right there. This one has a ladder that can slide up out of the way if you don't want it there. And a uh, two storage spots there so nobody has to argue about who gets the storage area. Okay, now that we have viewed the double over double bunks, we're going to walk by this extra counter space here in this beautiful bunk and we're going to head past this farmhouse style door and look at this full width bath. Check it out. This one has a large footprint right here, footprint area. You don't have to have big feet, but if you do, you will be okay in this one. So the full width, that means the bathroom goes the full width of the coach. So what that is doing is, well, this is your hallway, but it's also a place, it's leg room, ankle room, room around your toilet, more room to brush your teeth, elbow room, and you got plenty of mirrors up here if you like to look at yourself and greet yourself and do your daily affirmations. So it's like, good morning, Duke. You're good enough. 
You're handsome enough. People like you. They're going to like your video, Duke. All right. That's just an example of an affirmation. Look at that table right there. Plenty of room for your cat you can sleep up there, your CPAP machine, your 9mm, whatever you got. Uh, you have a storage area under here. Okay. It's got a dog crate. Good luck. Sorry, Keystone. The one thing I don't agree with, no dog. My dog ain't getting in there. She is three pounds of dog that is not going to get in there. I won't get any sleep if I stick my dog down there. Maybe you can. Maybe you have a ferret. There is a laundry chute. You could put a laundry hamper down there for your t-shirt, socks, and unmentionables. Put your unmentionables down in the laundry chute. You don't have to talk about it. So you've got a wardrobe on each side. There's another one over there. There is a 110 outlet on there. On that side. And check on this side. Okay, somebody's going to be says it says 110 and USB. So, a little trouble brewing in the bedroom because somebody's jealous of the USB connection. They'll be okay. To learn to cope with things. So you still have... A second AC unit here with a residential filter and this uh, residential AC style AC is ducted. They use a tough lock couplers. There's no hoses with tape that's going to come apart and air condition your dead air space. Three, four, five, six, seven years from now, still going to be an efficient, efficiently ducted AC system. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm Duke, your video host, and I appreciate you tagging along. My phone number is in the description below. I didn't bring it with me, but uh, it's 281-467-0659. You can rewind it and get it again. I'll even say it again, though. 281-467-0659. So there's your hot water on demand. There's your uh, controls right there. It's 76 degrees inside the coach here, and you got a place to hang up your coats or your keys, whatever you got. This is a nice looking RV. If it's not the perfect one, tell me what you don't like about it. I'll make another video of a different RV. Send me a text at 281 467 0659. You can find that in the description below. Thank you so much.